run that intro. Cajun wine to red, Leo, but you can call me Cajun. Back again with another video, man. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Cajun's Blur I. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button right now. Your man's short-term goals, I am on the road to 130 subscribers, but my big goal right now, it is 200 subscribers. Hit that like button while you're at it, and last but not least, leave a comment, because I always hit the people back up in the comment section. You can believe that. She Hope episode number six, KRL Squidward. Let's do this, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of getting tired of She Hope a little bit, man. Man, they're just ringing you on and ringing you on and reeling you in, only for like little satisfaction. But the show must go on. I like the title of the episode already, Just Jen. And since that's all we're getting, it seems like, like I said on my last video, or the, on the last episode, She's finally coming to terms with being a Hulk. She's finally getting used to being a Hulk. And she's finally one to actually be She-Hulk. And then it turns out she can't even be She-Hulk. And the one thing she finally wants to be in it. So, let's talk about it. The, brides, the bride in this episode, she, I found her really annoying. I could not get with her character one bit whatsoever. I thought it was real rude how she was using Jen for pretty much to be her servant after she ran off all the work i mean that should speak for you yourself people who don't realize this type of stuff about themselves i just don't i don't get it so in this process we kind of see jen finding another love interest of course and i don't know where that's going to lead up to but it seemed like once again it seemed like it could work and the fact that titania swindled her way in there some way somehow uh, they're keeping this joke going and, you know, I was like, ugh, what, are we really doing this? But they made it work with the fight scene, which is about the only thing, one of the only things, I really found really interested in this episode at all, just to be honest. So in the fight scene, it still wasn't enough for me. I'm sorry. I think we had more fun with the Wrecking Crew fight scene. Yeah, I found this fight just a bit rushed, but that's just me. So the fight pretty much ends with Titania getting her grill all busted up, and she runs away in shame. Will we see Titania again? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, she's kind of seemed to be the, like, the only main antagonist of the series right now that's kind of been reoccurring. So, but I don't know. I'm quite sure we'll probably still see her again, because we didn't think we'd see her again <laughs> from the first episode. So, here we go. And I really don't... I don't know, man. The way that they're portraying her character in the MCU so far, uh, it's really kind of fallen in bad taste. She was kind of a little bit more of an independent woman. Well, she was an independent woman in better ways that they're portraying her in this show. Now, cut the scene, cut everything. Let's go ahead on and get into what's really interesting about this episode on the B-side story, which I found a whole lot more interesting, somewhat. We have our man's Mr. Immortal. Now, when I was watching this, I was like, man, Mr. Immortal, Mr. Immortal. That name sounds so familiar. And I thought about it. I was like, I know what I know Mr. Immortal from. He's from the Great Lakes Avengers. We'll get into that in a second. But first off, let me show y'all this. My Marvel's Bible here. <laughs> I got the Encyclopedia, the character guide. And let's go ahead on and scroll to the eyes real quick. Or is it M? Would it be M? Mr. Mr. There he goes. Mr. Immortal, right here himself. And let me go ahead on and say this. Now, the MCU version of him, they have him seem like he's pretty old, like it is late 40s, early 50s. But in the comics, he's actually a younger guy, like more or less in his 20s. And they kept his powers pretty much the same. The guy pretty much can't die. He is Mr. Immortal. Yeah, but they got the name right. Craig Hollis. He says his occupation is in a, uh, an adventurer based at uh, the Great Lakes, height 6'2". You know, they give you some of this stuff. Mr. Immortal cannot permanently die. Each time he is killed, he swiftly revives, fully healed. He also seems to have <laughs> stopped aging. <laughs> Apparently they felt they missed a the mark with that one, but, but yeah. If you follow me on Twitter, you've, you've probably already seen a snippet of this already. So, 
Will we see more of this guy? I highly doubt it. He's probably just going to be a one-off character for this. Because I really don't see that. I really don't see no need for them to bring the Great Lakes Avengers in. I'll basically expect, explain the Great Lakes Avengers for you. Just think of the Guardians of the Galaxy as an Avengers team. These guys are pretty much straight up misfits <laughs> that nobody wants. And you kind of get uh, a bit of Daredevil. No, Daredevil. You kind of get the feel of like De uh, Deadpool in this. Yeah. Their comics are very wacky and comical. And you can't really take these guys serious whatsoever. So there you have it. If you follow, like I said, if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably already seen this. <laughs> if you pay attention. Again, with the multiple love interests, uh, I mean, I guess if this is a running joke at this point, uh, they're killing me because uh, usually the third time's a charm or a fool me once, fool me twice. You know what I mean? That's getting kind of bland at this point. But enough of the ranting on. At the end of the episode, I do. Whew, I'm hoping they plan this out like I think to. I think they are going to because I would love to see the Wrecking Crew back in this, guys. Now, I don't know if you've seen the needle. I don't know if this is AIM. I don't know who this agency is, you know, that are trying to get She-Hulk's DNA. I'm, I'm willing to say AIM, but I didn't see the iconic yellow suits that they wore. So, I mean, we just have to stick around. And I don't know where else that AIM has popped their head up. Maybe in one of the movies. I can't think or nothing right now off the top of my head but let me know what you guys think about she-hulk episode six guys i believe there's going to be nine episodes look kind of like how the what ifs was because they're only like 30 minutes long each so yeah we might actually get nine episodes out of this but let me know what you guys think about she-hulk episode six <laughs> are you still just sticking through it like i am just to see what is tied into it and what they might throw out there because Outside of that, man, be sure to follow me on social media. I am very active on Twitter. I am on there every day, regardless if I'm tweeting or retweeting.